This guy's garage. Like and subscribe. Present presenting petition. Oh. The our member for uh, Dauphin Swan River Nippewa. <clears throat> Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's an honor to present a petition on behalf of constituents. Madam Speaker, I rise for the 32nd time on behalf of the people of Swan River, Manitoba, to present a petition on the rising rate of crime. The community of Swan River is consumed with unprecedented levels of crime because of this government's soft on crime laws like Bill C-5 and Bill C-75. Bill C-5 allows criminals to serve their sentences from home and Bill C-75 allows violent offenders to be in jail in the morning and back on the streets in the evening. The people of Swan River are calling for jail, not bail, for violent repeat offenders. Madam Speaker, the people of Swan River demand that this Liberal government repeal their soft on crime policies that directly threaten their livelihoods and their community. I support the good people of Swan River. Presenting petitions, the Honourable for Red Deer Mountain View. Madam Speaker, today I rise to table a petition on behalf of correctional officers in Mission Massacre, Fraser Canyon and surrounding areas who are concerned about the prison needle exchange program currently being operated by Correctional Services Canada. Drugs and drug paraphernalia are considered contraband in prisons, yet this government is forcing our correctional officers to simply turn a blind eye and allow dangerous drugs to be used inside of prisons. These correctional officers are calling on the government to immediately cancel the prison needle exchange program, stop permitting the use of illicit drugs in Canadian prisons, and to focus efforts on helping inmates recover from their addictions. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Presenting petitions, the Honourable Member for Yorkton Melville. You have to get up. I'm from Yorkton Melville, Madam Speaker, so it's for me. Okay, thank you very much. It was a little confusing. It was going. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. Well, Madam Speaker, I, I'm bringing forward two petitions today. The first one is in regard to the fact that all of us in this House know that the level of domestic violence and violent crimes across Canada has risen significantly under this government. It's also well established in this House and across Canada that the risk of violence against pregnant women is greater. And yet this government fails to bring in any legislation that impacts our criminal code in this regard. And so these individuals upset that um, this government turned a blind eye to C-311. They are calling on them to legislate the abuse of a pregnant woman and the infliction of harm on a preborn child as aggravating circumstances at the sentencing point uh, from our, within our criminal code. Yes, it is. The second one is in regard to sexually explicit information and demeaning depicting sexual violence on our um, online that is absolutely available to young people. It's made available at, for commercial purposes and is not protecting any effective age verification methods. Apparently, this Parliament recognizes that the harmful effects of the increasing accessibility of sexual explicit materials online for young persons is an important public health and public safety concern. And therefore, they are calling on this House to adopt Bill S-210, protecting young persons from exposure to pornography act. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I think petitions, the Honourable Member for Kitchener South, Hessler. Madam Speaker, it is my honour to rise in this House to present a petition signed by 75 members of the Canadian-Ukrainian community in the Waterloo region, calling on all parliamentarians to reaffirm our unwavering commitment to Ukraine by supporting BC57, the updated Canada-Ukraine free trade uh, agreement, which was requested by Ukraine. This will assist them in their rebuilding efforts of the illegal invasion of Ukraine by Vladimir Putin. I'm pleased to report to the committee to the community that this bill was in fact passed last week with the support of all members of Parliament, save and except those members of the Conservatives. Um, so just a reminder that uh, the honourable members are to do summary of the petitions and not give additional information as far as for their points of view or, um, uh, or, or to use it as an SO31. Uh, the presenting petitions, the honourable member for Langley, Alder Grove. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise <clears throat> to present a petition signed by uh, 75 people 
in my community to draw Parliament's attention uh, to the plight of Pakistani Christians who are persecuted for their faith, who do not receive the protection from their government, and who have fled to Thailand, where they continue to face persecution while they await their Canadian visa applications to proceed. They are calling upon the House of Commons to create a special status for Pakistani asylum seekers who continue to suffer mistreatment in Thailand and uh, to renew with increased urgency the Government of Canada's 2016 recommendation uh, made in Thailand on the need for asylum seekers to have access to legal status. A number of the people who signed this application are themselves refugees from Thailand, uh, from uh, Pakistan via Thailand in these uh, circumstances. They're very happy to have Canada as their new home, but they remain concerned for those left behind. Thank you. Petitions, the Honourable Member for Kelowna Lake Country. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I have two petitions to table today. The first petition uh, is from residents in my community of Kelowna Lake Country and surrounding area. And it refers to natural health products, NHPs, as being a basic everyday products uh, and that the changes that the uh, Health Canada is looking at doing will cause consumer prices to rise significantly and consumer choice to decline drastically. When inflation is at an all-time high and access to health care is at an all-time low, Health Canada recently proposed new and significant fees to import, manufacture and sell NHPs at the same time they are implementing new labeling laws. And so the petitioners are calling on uh, the Minister of Health to work with the industry with adjusting Health Canada's proposed cost recovery rates to accurately reflect the size and scope of the industry and that the new regulatory changes should only be considered once the self-care framework is adjusted and backlogs are cleared and operations are running efficiently and there are policies and procedures in place to ensure stable operation and selection of natural health product choices that they continue for Canadians. The second petition that I have today is uh, with respect to the carbon tax. And so petitioners, just to summarize, talk about the combination of carbon tax one and carbon tax two, which means that Canadians will pay an extra 61 cents for each litre of gas. Uh, this is making life more expensive for Canadians in a cost of living crisis. And so the petitioners are calling on the Government of Canada to have the House recognize the failure of carbon tax one and call on the Government to immediately cancel the cre the clean fuel regulations. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, presenting petitions, the Honourable Member Sturgeon River Parkland. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm very pleased to rise today to present a petition on behalf of my constituents uh, who are firefighters and in industries related to firefighting. They're very concerned over the uh, very poor uh, provisions for volunteer firefighters, the, the very low tax credit that they believe is, is not large enough to support firefighters that are uh, volunteer firefighters that are particularly needed in rural communities that do not necessarily have the fiscal capacity uh, to support a full-time firefighter force. Uh, the petitioners are asking this government to implement changes to support volunteer firefighters and they're also calling on this house to pass Bill C-310 uh, to raise the, uh, the tax credit for volunteer firefighters. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Presenting petitions. Présentation de pétitions. 